Hello children, here I am again, now telling you about winds and its types. When hot air rises and creates a region of low pressure, cold air from neighboring high pressure areas move towards the low pressure area. The horizontal movement of air is called wind. The instrument used for recording the direction of the wind is called a wind vane. It consists of a pointer and a vane or tail fixed to the opposite ends of a horizontal rod pivoted at its center. The wind turns the vane towards the side to which it is blowing. The pointer points to the direction from which the wind is blowing. The speed of wind depends on the pressure difference between the two regions. When the difference is high, Wind rushes from the high pressure region to the low pressure region at a great speed. The speed of wind is measured with the help of an anemometer. An anemometer consists of three or four cups attached to a rotating shaft. When wind blows, the cups and the shaft rotate. The shaft is connected to a meter similar to a car's speedometer which shows the speed of the wind. Winds can be broadly classified into permanent winds and local winds. The winds that blow from the permanent high pressure belts towards the permanent low pressure belts maintain their direction of flow throughout the year. Thus, they are called permanent or planetary winds. Due to the rotation of the earth, these winds are deflected to the right of their paths in the northern hemisphere and to the left of the paths in the southern hemisphere. Thus the winds blowing towards the equator are deflected towards the west and the winds blowing towards the poles are deflected towards the east. Permanent winds are of three types, trade winds, westerlies and local winds. The trade winds blow from the subtropical high pressure bells to the equatorial low pressure bells. Winds are named after the direction from which they blow. In the northern hemisphere, the trade winds blow from northeast and thus are called northeast trade winds. In the southern hemisphere, they blow from southeast and thus are called the southeast trade winds. The winds blowing from subtropical high pressure bends to the subpolar low pressure belts are known as the westerlies, as they blow from a somewhat westerly direction in both the hemispheres. The westerlies blow from the southwest in the northern hemisphere and from the northwest in the southern hemisphere. They are warm winds and not as regular as trade winds. The polar winds blow from the polar high pressure belts to the subpolar low pressure belts. They are also known as polar easterlies because they blow from somewhat easterly direction. They blow from the northeast in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast in the southern hemisphere. Since these winds originate in the polar regions, they are extremely cold. Winds that arise due to local or regional changes in temperature or pressure are known as local winds. They affect small areas for short periods of time. Some local winds like land and sea breezes and monsoons are periodic. Unlike prevailing winds, they do not always blow in the same direction. Water takes longer than land to get heated and to cool down. During the day, the land therefore becomes hotter than the sea. The air above the land becomes hot and rises, leading to low pressure over the land. Since the air above the sea is cooler, the pressure over the sea is higher. The cooler air from the sea moves towards the land during the day. This breeze, called the sea breeze, brings down the temperature in coastal areas during the day. At night, the land cools down much faster than the sea. The air above the sea is thus warmer and lighter. The warm air above the sea rises and thus the pressure over the sea is lower than the pressure over the land. Air from the land therefore blows out towards the sea. This is called the sea breeze. Monsoon is a seasonal wind. 
It blows in a fixed direction during a particular season but reverses its direction with the change of seasons. Monsoons are like land and sea breezes on a large scale and they are mainly associated with southern and southeastern Asia. In summer, the interior of the continent of Asia gets extremely heated and a low pressure zone develops in this region. Moist winds from the high pressure zone over the Indian Ocean blow towards this zone and cause heavy rainfall in this region. In winter, the temperature falls sharply and a high pressure zone develops over the interior of Asia. The sea remains warmer than the land, so the pressure over it is much lower. As a result, cool, dry winds from the interior of the continent blow towards the sea. Cyclonic winds are irregular winds of short duration. They are caused by pressure systems known as cyclones and anticyclones. In a cyclone, strong winds blow in a spiral towards the low pressure area at the center. In the northern hemisphere, winds blow in an anti-clockwise direction around the center of the cyclone, while in the southern hemisphere, they blow in a clockwise direction. Cyclones bring heavy rains and cause damage to places over which they pass. In an anticyclone, gentle winds blow from the high pressure area at the center towards the surrounding low pressure areas. In the northern hemisphere, winds blow in a clockwise spiral away from the center of this anticyclone, while in the southern hemisphere, they blow in an anti clockwise spiral. Anticyclones bring stable weather and clear skies. With that, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you.